Okay, this basically covers uh, how do you handle exceptions, okay? What is an exception? When we talk about exceptions, these are errors that are raised, okay? On an error happens in your code, in your program. What is an error? Error is that your program is not, uh, or your program did not do what it was supposed to do, okay? Something happened. So there are two aspects. One, obviously, first you have to detect it. Second, you have to handle it. Errors that are not handled crash your program. Your Windows blue screen of death, for instance. So those are unhandled errors. In our filing example, if you remember when you open the file, so that open function can detect an error, but it cannot handle it, okay? Let's say you try to open a file that does not exist. Yes, it knows that, okay, there is an error, but it can't handle it. For that, we have to explicitly write an exception handling routine or some kind of code that handles that exception. Okay, so in programming terms, terms to detect errors, that's called that an error is detected or its an exception is raised. Okay, and then the next step is you handle that exception. In Python, explicitly, you can raise exceptions by giving the keyword raise. Okay. In our filing example, when we open any non-existent file, we don't need to raise anything because the compiler itself will raise the exception. So there are two types of raisings. One, that you raise your specifically that in your code you write something like this, or the compiler will generate it, we just handle it. Okay. And I'm going to focus on the second one because this is more concerned with filing. So in Python, your exception handling is in this hierarchy. Okay. Your topmost level is the exception. Everything else is, these are types of exceptions. Your warning is a type of an exception. Your standard error is a type of exception. And they are a little bit different without going into the details not the object of this class. Out of those errors, they, these your errors can be many, many things. Your input output was caused an environment error, your printer wasn't connected, uh, arithmetic error, you divided by zero. Uh, some error happened at runtime, uh, like your RAM ran out of space. Uh, value errors, you, you were expecting a float, but you got an integer and so on, lookup error, etc., uh, etc. Et okay? So these are all types of exceptions. If you handle this, all these are handled. So I'm gonna go the easier route. We're gonna handle exceptions at this level because it covers everything, okay? This is just what I said earlier. We are going to be handling exceptions in a scenario of filing, okay? For the purpose of this class, that's the only thing that we're going to talk about, okay? So handling can be done in two ways. Either you simply exit the program or you ask the user to correct the error. Right? Is the first feasible? In some cases that may make sense, but mostly you try to correct the error. Let's say you uh, try to open a file, file does not exist. Should you just end your program or should you tell the user, please enter the file name again, it does not exist, right? So the second option seems more plausible. Right, And that is where exception handling comes in. In most programming languages, Java, C-sharp, Python, 
you write try catch blocks. In Python, that catch is called an accept. That you try your code, do something, and if something happens, do some like give a message or do something. Okay. So let's look at the example here. Or first look at the syntax. So the syntax is you write statements in a try block. So remember how do you define a block? With a tab. So everything else. So all this is in a try block. This is the accept block. This is another accept block and so on. So here, if you have different exception types, what are these exception types? These are the exception types. So if you want separate message, separate error handling routine, you can do that. The easiest way is bundle everything in an exception, accept exception, and it will handle everything like this one. So in here, IO error is handled differently. Every other error is called an exception and it is handled differently. What is that handling here? In the first case, it prints one type of message. In the other type, it just puts another message. Okay, so let's look at the specific example. What do we do? Or you're opening file opening, etc., etc. You write it in a try block. If it's written in a try block, you open this file in read mode. File lets it does not exist. Control if this line generates an error. The program does not crash, your control comes here to the first accept. What is that accept? IO error. So if an error happened here, you give a message, you gracefully exit. Okay. So open can raise an IO exception. So execution transfers here a file cannot be opened then when you convert to an integer that can raise a value error exception if that occurs control is transferred here okay so that's what's happening here what you could have done is in the accept you could have written another try try accept block saying that please enter the input file like file name again and then you try to open the file and so on okay and this slide is basically telling you the same so for our case you just if you open a file and error happens print the error and then exit uh, exit okay and this basically tells you what this thing means i'm just gonna skip it over uh, similarly for these things then there is something called the finally that's attached to a uh, try basically try catch okay so finally clause is used when you need to take some action whether or not an exception is raised mean link finally will always be executed even if there was an exception or there was not an exception. In case of filing, what does what makes sense is that any type of file that you need to close, you put it in the finally block because you don't want those pipes remained open. You always want them closed. So you write your close statements for all those in file, out file objects in the finally block. So syntax is try accept finally. Okay, your accepts are written here. And this slide basically gives you the same example. 
next slides basically just are a recap of whatever I just said. So inside a try, you can have another try finally inside a uh, uh, except you can also have uh, try find accept and so on 